there. Today is August 5th, 2021, and I am so happy to be bringing you to Magic Kingdom here at Walt Disney World. I've got a bunch of updates for you. We're gonna have so much fun, and the first one is right here on Main Street USA, so let me show you. As of just yesterday, Magic Kingdom has put up the fall Halloween pumpkins. Now there's certainly more to come because there are normally really cool pumpkin displays up in this front area, but there's quite a bit out. Here on the train station we can see fall wreaths, flowers, and decor. Well looky here, a lot more of the train station has been uncovered. We can now see the railroad office window, the clock at the top, the town square theaters also covered in trim. We can see these beautiful fall flowers and wreaths. And these classic orange decorations are draped all over every building. Seeing these really gets me in the fall spirit, especially seeing them blowing in the wind like that. Something very romantic about it. But besides the flowers and fabric draped everywhere, we've got the classic Main Street USA pumpkins up here. They're just cute little friends that remind us that Halloween is bright around the corner. And if you take a close look at them, they're all different. You can find all sorts of fun faces carved into these jack-o'-lanterns lining Main Street USA. Check out these two cuties flanking the Emporium sign. Now I love these pumpkins on the fire station. We've got a fire hydrant there, Dalmatian spots, a dog, and then a pumpkin carved to point you to the restroom area. See the fire hydrant? So cute. City Hall looks beautiful. And look at all the different pumpkins. In the Chamber of Commerce here, some customer service getting in on the action. I like this cute little double one too. He's got like a little mini one on his head. So fun fact, my very first YouTube video ever in August of 2017, four years ago, was me walking down Main Street USA showing the pumpkins and the Halloween decorations. So every year when I do this, it reminds me of that first ever video. And the reason I did that is because it's a tradition. It's something I've done long before I ever had a YouTube channel. I would try to be at Disney World very early on when they put the pumpkins out and come see them because I love it. It, it makes me really happy. So there you go. Halloween time always gives me a happy, nostalgic feeling. And now it's got a little extra nostalgia in there because that's where this all started. These are so pretty. They've got tiny pumpkins, gourds, and flowers in them. I love them. They haven't added any Halloween window displays yet here on Main Street USA, but we can presume those are coming very soon. Okay, that shirt is new to me. I've never seen that Madame Leota psychic shirt. Readings from beyond, open for eternity. Yeah, I'm gonna be needing that. I'm gonna show you some more of the beautiful Main Street USA decor. shirt to welcome in the Magic Kingdom pumpkins. Now that we've seen that, and we may take more of a look at it later, there's still quite a bit more to show you today. Just this week, the Hall of Presidents attraction reopened here at Magic Kingdom after a very long closure. So we're gonna go check it out and see the new animatronic that's been added. But before we do that, we'll stop here at Cinderella Castle. I showed you in my last video that the 50th anniversary crest has been added there, and I did a lot of long detailed views of the castle in that video, but just a quick one here. In order to make our way to the Hall of Presidents, we're going to head into Liberty Square. And if you've never taken the time to read this plaque before heading into Liberty Square, it's always nice to get you in the spirit of things. The Hall of Presidents celebrates all the presidents of the United States of America, and each time a new president president is elected, it closes for a time while they work on and install a brand new animatronic of that president. This week, finally, the Hall of Presidents has reopened with our new president. I haven't done this for such a long time, so let's check it out. And here we go, heading in. Here we've got the Great Seal of the United States. Here's the theater entrance. They told us the next show would be in about 15 minutes. There are quite a few memorabilia and relics all throughout. The Hall of Presidents is unique to Walt Disney World. Over at Disneyland, they have great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Now to me, the coolest thing about the Hall of Presidents 
are the animatronics. The audio animatronics of the presidents are incredible. And here's a plaque that talks about the making of this attraction, how the attire, the animatronics, all of that were created. Every president featured in the Hall of Presidents begins as a piece of clay. They're sculpted, and then the audio animatronics are made from that sculpture. This show is 23 minutes long, and it's a great place to kind of like sit down, admire some beautiful, old school audio animatronics and some storytelling. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approximately five minutes away from Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal and the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. The blood of over half of just an idea. It is an idea with a proud history. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the United States of America. George Washington, John Adams, and now we come to the present. Once again, we place our trust in the idea of a president, as we have from the beginning. My fellow citizens, no event could have filled me with greater anxieties than that notification on the 14th day of April, 1789 that you have selected me to lead our nation, that I took an oath, 35 simple words that have been repeated by every American president throughout history. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. The presidency of the United States is a role unique in the world, an office entrusted to each president by us, we the people. Therein lies the genius of that new idea, now over 200 years old. A new idea our presidents have turned into a great American idea again and again. It's a large, beautiful theater, and it was a lovely show. Time to head out, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. This whole wide screen is a movie that they show before the animatronic presidents come out. It's pretty long, and it goes through the whole history of the United States of America, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, all the way up to the present day, and it gets pretty emotional. Now, obviously, I can't show you the entire show. It's 23 minutes long, and a good portion of it is that video presentation on those huge screens that go all around the audience and it goes through the history of the United States of America basically with a focus on the presidents, either their impact on history or their reaction to or pivotal moments in US history and their role in them. I really liked how every single president is introduced. That's also a really long segment. Everyone is introduced, each nods. All of the other presidents look at each president as they're introduced and Everyone in the audience was respectful of all the presidents, which I really like too, because at the end of the day, that's what this presentation is about. U.S. history with a focus on its presidents and it will continue to change throughout time. I wonder, like, 
in 10 years, in 20 years? Like, are they going to make the stage bigger? How are they going to make room for all the presidents to come? Who knows what the future of this attraction will be, but for now, it's a really lovely experience. Everybody was respectful. I was very happy about that. It was nice to see everything all updated and fresh and looking good. All the audio animatronics looked really good. And of course, the newest current president is always the one who speaks, um, as well as you know some of the older, older presidents. But the show would be five hours long if every single president had a speaking role. So a speaking role is always given to the current sitting president. So that's why uh, President Biden spoke in this one and I just thought it was great. The animatronic looked great and it's really nice. And again, it's long and it's cold. So cool, let's move on with our day because guess what, there's still more. There's still more. Great news for Walt Disney World visitors. Columbia Harbor House has finally reopened. Now here's why this reopening is such good news. Columbia Harbor House has been closed ever since the parks closed back in March of 2020. It's just reopened today. It's one of the more popular quick service eateries here in Magic Kingdom. For several reasons, one of them being the food that they serve here is just popular. It's different from a lot of the food they serve at the other quick service locations. Quick service, by the way, means food that you can just walk up, purchase, and eat. It's not like a sit down dining. Well, it is sit down, there are tables inside, but it's not a situation where you need reservations or a server comes to your table. You order, you take your food to your table, you eat it quick. It's also relatively affordable for theme park quick service food. You get a lot for your money, it's yummy, but also there's a lot of space in Columbia Harbor House. The theming is super cool. It matches with this whole area. Let me just show you because it's, it's great. I ha obviously haven't eaten here. They were serving some Columbia Harbor House food in the Tomorrowland Terrace for a little while, but I never got any and it was extremely limited. So on their reopening day, let's enjoy. Normally you can walk up to a cash register and order, but right now, like pretty much everything else, it's mobile order. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a mobile order on my phone. So you can't even go inside until your order's uh, ready in the app. So let's order. All right, my order's being prepared. Now I just wait when it tells me it's ready, then I can go inside. Here's the menu on the wall. Just a snippet of what's available. But if you want to pull the menu up, here's the QR code. Woo, thank you! <laughs> thank you! Okay, so I'm picking up at three. Now that I've picked up my order here on the first floor, I'm actually gonna go up to the second floor, and I think that a lot of people may not even realize there is a second floor. And it's so loud down here, but hopefully it's gonna be a lot quieter up here. Oh yes, you see? It's already getting quieter. This is so nice. Look at how much seating there is up here. It's just so spacious and it's so quiet. So if you wanna get away from the crowds, the second floor is a good bet. Normally it's very crowded upstairs and downstairs. Today's just the reopening day. I found a table basically in my own whole area. There's no one else dining in this room right now. These condiment stations are located all around the restaurant, upstairs and downstairs. There's also gorgeous theming everywhere. Columbia Harbor House has always been really, really popular, as you can see for all the reasons I've mentioned. And hopefully you took a look at that menu. I put the QR code in the video so you can hold your phone camera up to it. It should pop up and you can see they've got a lot of nice options, obviously like New England seafood type of things, which I love. So I just went ahead and went in for the trio because this is reopening day and I wanna try all the things. Now, if you've been watching my theme park vlogs lately, you'll notice that lately I've been going for more healthier, nutritious options in the parks, like salads or rice dishes or things like that. But today, it's a fried dish because they're reopening and I got the trio. The trio platter is a combination of fried shrimp. See the shrimp are under there. <laughs> fried shrimp, chicken strips, and battered fish served with hush puppies and a side of fries. I also got some cocktail sauce for the shrimp. They've also got a ton of sauces that you can get at the condiment bar, like malt vinegar for your fish, a must do. They also have an assortment of soft drinks and I got unsweetened iced tea, my favorite. some vinegar onto the fish. I'm kind of disappointed. It only looks like there are three shrimp in here. 
but I guess I should have ordered the shrimp platter if I wanted more shrimp, but just so you know, not that much, but it is tasty. I also got some tartar sauce that I have applied to the fish. I do have a fork and knife, but this is pretty much finger food. It's like fried pieces and they're really tasty. They're really juicy. There's a lot of fish inside of there. There's a lot of shrimp in the shrimp. So at least they're not measly. And it's really good fish. I really, really like it. And the shrimp's good too. Let's try the chicken. I'm put that in some honey mustard. Haven't tried the hush puppy yet though. It's usually like fried balls of bread. It tastes kind of like fried cornbread. It's really sweet. It's got chunks of corn in it. It's so delicious. The chicken strips are just basically regular chicken strips you can get anywhere. They're good, but they're just, you can get those anywhere. But the shrimp, the hush puppies, and the fish are really good. My favorite is the shrimp and the hush puppies, definitely. I should have probably gotten the shrimp platter. I, I think that's my usual here, so I'll get that next time. But I just want to try all three on their reopening day. The theming and decor here is colonial, New England, Americana, seaside, very not very beautiful historic details. It fits in with the theming of Liberty Square and you can get some nice views of it out the windows. Once you're in and you're dining, you can take a few moments to look around at the ships and the decor. I just, I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's so carefully and beautifully done. Like, look at this gorgeous piece. It looks hand painted. Even the lamps, everything's very, very detailed. There are ropes and pieces of ships all over the restaurant, even hidden where you might not see them. And there are so many different rooms to dine in. I even love this carpet and the wallpaper. It's just the little details. If you get a seat in a front room by the window, you can even get a view of the haunted mansion. My favorite. All right, all done here. And just so you can see what they have, they have malt vinegar, tartar sauce, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, ketchup, and then uh, sugar and sugar substitute, salt and pepper and creamer in case you get milk or coffee. And then, did I just say milk or coffee? Tea or coffee. And then uh, cocktail sauce. And of course napkins and utensils. Columbia Harbor House is a really peaceful, beautiful place to eat with gorgeous theming, a lot of attention to detail in here, and some different options, so I, I always recommend it. I'll show you a little more of the first floor before we go. I love that there's even like creaky wooden floors. There are even restrooms in here, which is wonderful. There are even like shark jaws everywhere and carvings that would be on the front of boats. I think my favorite part is this hearth. It just, it looks all like worn in as if several fires have been burned here. And the shelf right above it, there's even a telescope here for looking out the boat and this dishware. Let's see if this is an exit. I don't know. It is, woo! Oh, we come out into Fantasyland. This is the door I just exited through, and we're pretty much in Fantasyland now, so this Columbia Harbor House sign here matches more with the theming of Fantasyland. And this one here kind of borders between Liberty Square and Fantasyland. I wanna head over to Tomorrowland now, just to check some things out, see what's going on over there. We'll head by the side of the castle. Always love to stop and look at Cinderella Castle from different angles, so right here's a pathway we'll take to get to Tomorrowland. I'm gonna pay a quick visit to Joffrey's Revive and try to get an iced coffee or something. Get an iced vanilla latte. I heard that Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor soft open today, so we're gonna try to do it. I had my iced coffee because I expected a long line, but I'm walking right in. So it's scheduled to open on Sunday, but apparently it just soft open today. It's just kind of like word, like on the grapevine, they haven't announced it. So 
super cool. We get to be here for its reopening day. Now, if you're not familiar with this attraction, it's a show, it's an interactive show, it's really funny, and you can even text in your jokes. Now, once you're in the inside portion of the queue, it's still quite a long wait because you're waiting for a show to let out. So you're waiting for the entire show previous to you to let out, and then they'll let in a large group for the next show. And you're not guaranteed, you don't know like which show you're getting in for. So hopefully next show, if not, we'll have to wait another whole show cycle. And we're in. They are loading up guests. If you can hear that beeping, those are like uh, electric chairs getting loaded in. So they'll pick audience members and put them up on the screen. <laughs> and you just never know. <laughs> Oh, those are delicious. You guys take a good look at it. Wait for it. So there's actual actors, by the way, doing this. It's actually live and interactive. If a monster comes out here and says hello, humans, the proper greeting for everyone is to scream like you saw a monster, like this. Two, throw your hands up in the air and scream as you can. Let's practice. Hello, humans. See that giant canister? That's when we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. Yeah! Make a cheese! Hello, humans! Ah! Woo! Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello there, my name is Mac, and this is my big bro, Jeeves, and together we're known as Mac and Jeeves. <laughs> Dee, his best friend in the world was Mike Wazowski. Woo-hoo! <laughs> With one eye! <laughs> Everyone would scream! <laughs> and that's how we generate power for Monstrovelis. Everybody shouted, whoop a dee doo whoop a dee doo Let's see how they did. Oh, 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 oh! 15 gigawatts! Looking good! Okay, this next act is almost as funny as a monkey in a tutu. The monkey wasn't available. He's my buddy. He's your buddy. He's Buddy Boyle. Hello, you ah Oh, you guys are great. Everybody remembered. Even that guy. <laughs> you did. You did. You remembered. That's all you did. <laughs> My name's Buddy. Today for you, I'm going to be demonstrating my amazing, my astounding, mind-reading power. I have the power to read minds. I'm what they call a psychopathic. <laughs> I just need a volunteer so I can try my powers out. Who wants to vote? She does. <laughs> Who wants to volunteer? <laughs> my name is Buddy Boyle. What is your name? Bridget. Correct. <laughs> Bridget, think of a number and I can read it from your mind. Do you have your number? I do. Okay, great. Bridget, before we start though, I want the audience to be surprised when I say it, so why don't you tell everybody what it is ahead of time? Uh, but listen, Bridget, don't worry while you do that. I'm going to close my eyes so I can't hear you. Four. Bridget, did you tell everybody your number? I did! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yes! I'm sorry, what? Yes! Okay, Bridget, I'm sorry. I'll just have to assume you told everybody I did. <laughs> Bridget, okay, let's do my reading, okay? Um, I want you to focus on your number. I'm going to read your mind. I see you've done this before. <laughs> hey, Bridget, can you put your fingers on top of your head like antennas? It helps with the reception. <laughs> and then, and then make this sound too. Great job, Bridget. Oh, she was great. Let's see. Bridget, what's the number you were thinking of? Number four. <gasps> wow! Bridget, wow. he got it. He got it. The greatest monster in the world. Ross, <laughs> why did you do that? He got it right. Oops, my finger slipped. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Face it, Wazowski, you'll never fill that can. Oh, yes, we will. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Fill the can. But remember, <laughs> I'm watching. Always watching. I'm watching. Always watching. <laughs> I'm Ross, and I've got a mold on my I can still hear you. <laughs> oh. The ladies and gentlemen, performing the jokes you just said in, my nephew, Marty Wazowski! Hello, you guys! Woo! Wow! Wow, we have the Mikey Vigal, the humans out here today. This is great! You know how Uncle Mikey sent me out here with some of the great jokes you guys texted in? You want to hear him say, oh yeah! <laughs> Sweet, the first one I got came to us today, and it is from uh, Bob, and Bob is from Boston! Woo! What do you call a bear with no teeth? Everyone say what? 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 A gummy bear? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, one, Bob. I got one from Addison. Addison's from Orlando. Woo! Addison says, what did the shark say when he ate a clownfish? Everyone say what? 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 Ugh, that tastes a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> a little funny clownfish. I got another one maybe sent in by this person. They're texting on the phone. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> This last rock came to us today, and it's from Wayne, and Wayne's from Indiana. Woo! Thank you, Wayne. Uh, Wayne says, what kind of a monster hangs out on the end of your finger? Say, what kind? What kind? The boogeyman. <laughs> Aww. What? Come on. I didn't pick it. <laughs> Aww. Those jokes are great, everybody. Thank you so much for taking your time and texting your phone. You're on your phone in the show. Don't get that. I guess I have to promote the one responsible. Oh, yeah. What's my new title? Not you, Wazowski. That guy. <laughs> and then, and so, yeah, there are actual actors playing all of this out, watching us. They can see the audience. They're already filling in the next show, so time to get a move on. But that was just so much fun. It's one of the few shows that's like that, kind of like Turtle Talk with Crush at Epcot, where there's an actual actor interacting with you, but you're seeing like a cartoon, so it's fun. Another great show reopened here at Magic Kingdom. Between Hall of Presidents reopening and now Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor reopening, that's two high capacity shows reopened at Magic Magic Kingdom. Now this means quite a few things. One of those things is these shows absorb huge crowds. Several hundred guests can be watching any given show at any given time. Several hundred can be like between the show and in line. So this is like hundreds and hundreds of guests who before this were just walking around and in lines. Now with more to do, there's more for families to do, more for kids to do, more things to keep people, like keep the lines kind of more dispersed, keep them spread more evenly, more things to do where guests can sit down, take a load off, sit in the air conditioning, watch something either like moving and historical and cool with the animatronics in the Hall of Presidents or just something really funny, interactive and very like clever and fun. Either way, both great shows and I'm just so happy they're both back. I didn't expect to do Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor today because it wasn't scheduled to open until Sunday. It's soft open today so we can expect it to be open from henceforth now, so this is great. When I got in this line, I walked right in, there was no line. Now there's a huge line wrapping all the way around the terrace here, so we just walked out. Well, that was just so much fun. By the way, if you wanna watch me ride Astro Orbiter during the like sunset dusk, I did that in my last Magic Kingdom video, so check that out, because it was a lot of fun. I was going to hop on the People Mover, but apparently it's down, they just told me it's, it's closed off and it's down for technical difficulties. As I was making my way on the Tomorrowland Bridge, I had to stop because I saw the sunset lined up right underneath the Tomorrowland archway, the sign there. And that is such a beautiful sight. fun, spectacular day here at Magic Kingdom. I always love a day at Magic Kingdom, no matter what. But it was so cool that we got to do 
three newly reopened things. Columbia Harbor House, a favorite quick service restaurant, has finally reopened. Eating there was lovely as always. The Hall of Presidents and Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, two shows that hold so many guests, provide so much entertainment, a place to sit down, and just more attractions and more to do here at Magic Kingdom. It seems like each week more and more is reopening here at Walt Disney World in general throughout the parks and resorts. There are like over 30 hotels, four different theme parks. Walt Disney World truly is a world. It's massive and there's a lot more than probably most people are even aware of and I do try to show as many of those options as possible throughout my videos so make sure you stay tuned because there's always new things, updates, cool things, and then just good old-fashioned Disney magic. I always try to show you like some sights and sounds and bring in some atmosphere and ambiance into my videos. Not just bam, 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 but like time to just soak it in. So with that, I think that's a wrap on today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed checking out these newly reopened attractions here at Magic Kingdom and just taking in a little bit of the sights and sounds. Make sure you stay tuned. There's just so much coming up, so many fun things, and we're embarking on a brand new season, so there's gonna be just a lot of excitement coming up. And if you're new here and you like this sort of thing, updates from Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, also anywhere else I travel, cool things, out of the way hidden things, just I try to cover like a wide variety of topics on my channel. Recently I've been doing a lot of different things around Orlando and I did a UK trip a few months ago. There's a lot on there so if you're new or you miss some things check back on the channel. You might find some fun travel vlogs and oh the howl of the banshee. That means it's time to go. Once again I thank you all so much for joining me. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video and until then as always stay enthused. Bye!